Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Captain Coral. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Coral. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. If only someone with heroic strength was here. Wait, where's that? What is what? That, in the sky. It's a, it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Captain Coral. That's right, kids. I'm no longer your average everyday TV show host. No way. I'm a superhero now. Uh, you guys were supposed to clap, but it, it, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm not doing this for the applause. I'm doing this for the whole world. See, I don't know if you know this, but the world is a wild and crazy place. I mean, we have self-driving cars and donut burgers. There's even a thing called the Gritty, which to be entirely honest, I'm not even sure what that is. I do believe it's some sort of vi uh, viral infection though. So, ugh. Anywho, because the world we're living in is getting crazier and crazier by the minute, I knew I had to do something. I can't stand by and watch the universe I once loved be taken over by darkness and the mysterious Gritty. It is my job and my job alone to save this world. So that is why I have chosen to live the life of a uh, superhero. I will no longer back down from the face of danger. No more of the days of passive, scared Carl. No siree, I'm a superhero. Nothing can scare me, uh, scare me now. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, Grace. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Sorry about that. I didn't think I would scare you. <laughs> scare me? <laughs> scare me? You can't scare me if you uh, if you tried. You're probably right. Boo. Ah! <laughs> Hilarious. I'm so glad we're doing this. Oh, don't get upset. I was just kidding. Besides, I heard what you said earlier, and I wanted to tell you something. Oh wait, about me being a superhero? Not quite, but that is cool, by the way. Congratulations. Thanks. It was what you said about saving the world and how you were the only one that was able to do it. Ah, yeah, it's a pretty big job, but no job is big enough for Captain Carl. Actually, that's where you may be wrong. What? How? Well, let's take a look at John 14. You got your Bible? Uh, yeah, what superhero doesn't carry his Bible around with him? So, this was before Jesus died and rose again. He was still with his disciples and teaching them how to live for God. It was at this time Jesus started to tell them some things that both excited and confused them. All right, I'm interested. What did he say? First, Jesus was telling them that he was going to be leaving and going to be preparing a place for them. Wait, are they going camping? Is he setting up like a tent somewhere? Not quite. Jesus was actually talking about heaven and that he would be leaving soon to go be with his father in heaven. God. Oh, uh, okay, I got it. The thing is, though, the disciples didn't understand that. They wanted to know how to get to the place Jesus was going. And that's when he told them this. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Wait, so he's saying in order to get to heaven or have a relationship with God, it has to go through Jesus? Exactly. What if I have superpowers that give me super speed? Nope. What if I become invisible and sneak into heaven? They would never see me. Nope. Okay, but what if I had like the power of flight and I just flew right into it? Nope. The only way to get to heaven is through Jesus. And that's why it was so important what he said next. What did he say? Well, he told the disciples that they were gonna be able to do great things. Really? Like what? Well, you know how Jesus did amazing things while he was on earth? The miracles, the teachings, the change he brought on. Of course, what he did was incredible. Exactly. Well, Jesus told the disciples that they would be able to do the same things. <laughs> what? How? They only had to do one thing, believe in him. That's it? That's it. Jesus told them that if they placed their faith in him, they would do great works. But it wouldn't be just us doing it by ourselves. Jesus says it was because of God that he was able to do great things. Well, doesn't it say that if we choose to follow God, it'll be the same for us? It does. You see, Carl, Jesus made it very clear that, yes, the world needs help. 
But it is not the responsibility of just one person to fix it. Jesus makes it clear that anyone who wants to do great things for God can. Jesus gives every person a chance to live a life that is full of adventures and opportunities to change people's lives with the message of his love and sacrifice. You know, Grace, you're totally right. I am now convinced anyone can do great things for God. Wow, what super news, right? Our big idea is anyone can do great things for God. So here's what we'll do. Let's stand in a very heroic stance and then say the big idea loud and proud, okay? So make sure we're on our feet, shrink the pose, and three, two, one. Anyone can do great things for God. All right, great job, kiddos. Now make sure to tune in next week because I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Captain Carl. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of 